What's up everybody, Panda here, and yes, as you can see from the title already, hopefully you see like, oh, Beelzebub Chapter 200 review, Panda's doing them again, yay! You know, celebrations. You know, been reading Beelzebub for a while now, I've been like reading it ongoing, big old Chapter 200 today, sadly no, like no color page, because you know, toriko has got to have it so. Yes, well done, Toriko. Like, you've got your colour page. Like, um... Which is a shame, because, you know, this is actually 200 is mean something, but... Yeah. Reviewing Beelzebub, but... That's the thing, as well. I don't kind of want to review it at the same time. Like, uh... What I mean by that is, like... You know when Beelzebub gets slow? Like, when they had that... Like, after the anime ended? Like, uh... That's when I really did not like feel like reviewing the series because it just went slow as fuck, like with just comedy chapter. So, and you say, well, I do that with um, freaking Gintama, but yeah, I do that with that, that series already. So it's hard enough trying to make a chapter on a gag. But since this is an actual, you know, stuff that's happening in the series, or if it's like a brilliant chapter, then I'll talk about it. Um, but yes, big old chapter 200, and also to commemorate it, I fucking spent ages on that picture, or that thumbnail today. <laughs> I was really trying to capture the technique in there, but it probably looks shitty in the end anyway, but let's actually talk about the um, chapter now, since I've talked a lot, not about like whole things, but yeah, Beelzebub is technically coming back on the channel now, so for all you guys that kept asking me <laughs> for it, then yeah. So the chapter started off with... Um, Kunida getting the King's Crest, like, um, since, like, oh, it was pretty weird that she's actually got number two, like, whilst Kanzaki has got number one, because that means, like, you know, he considers her, uh, like, him more of the freaking ally than Kunida, which is a little bit weird, I mean, from the sounds of that, we're all, we're gonna see, like, everyone getting a power-up, like, we're gonna see, like, he, um, what's that, Himaka, I think he's gonna get one, then as well, we're gonna get, um, Tojo, oh Tojo, since he he's practically learning about demonic power anyway. If like if Tojo gets this ability, he is gonna be crazy. Like um, and what happens is like it it was continued like the fight between like um Ringo and Cornita, and she she was like practically fucking over, saying you know I'd like to fight you once uh, one more time if you like, but. If you lose this time, I'm going to burn out one of the ogre's eyes. And it was, like, pointing, like, the cigarette right to his eye. And she was, like, being all cocky, saying, you know, oh, is that all you want? And she was just, like, going berserk at her. Like, she was just throwing it, like, a sword everywhere. And I did, like, one of the techniques, like, when Kuni has stabbed um, her, like, coat, she actually used it as a cover, as she could, like, put in multiple strikes through it. Which I really did like that like, she did that with her, and then... As she tried to avoid, she said, gotcha, and she's like, I forgot, like, what the girl's called, Nene, Nene or something, like, um, the current leader, she, like, she just went to hit her, so she took it out, but luckily Kanida came in time and blocked it, and I was like, oh, this fight was really good, may I remind you that, and it isn't even finished yet in this chapter, that this fight was very, very, like, interesting, and then she pulls out the Shingetsu-style, um, fifth, and it does, like, Desert Haze, and it just, like, literally the sense of her flying like it looked so good like this um technique like she completely fucked over Ringo and um she was like you know let her go and she actually let um let go of like um Nene and she was like I'm sorry it's because I'm weak and it's like that's not true and all that like I'm sorry for making you so long and she puts back on the um the cloak of the red tails, and she's saying, you know, I'm turning, returning back to my rightful position. So, and that's something like, you know, they've been gagging about for a long time, but seri like for now, seriousness, like how it been, like, like Aoi for like over a hundred chapters now hasn't hasn't like retired from being a red tail, and she has finally come back, and she like, oh, Ringo was like freaking angry. She was like, bullshit, have we forgotten that we still got hostages? And she just completely screws over like all of her, like the red, t uh, the second red tails, like just completely destroys them into the walls. Uh, and she was just like, you know, and it, we're exactly going to protect now, like all this shit. Like, and she's like pulling like a light in front of the ogre's face. And he's like, 
he just like doesn't even give a shit because he's now like turned back into normal since like I'm guessing the super milk time side effects have run out now so he just literally rips it off like all the bandages and he's like time's up and he's like I'm no longer playing the role of hostage and he's like I'm now a Zerber of this match he was like oh okay like um uh, fuck, he hasn't even done anything and I really enjoyed it like uh, like this was what I probably one of the uh, best chapters we've had like for a while um that's the thing. I, it's it's hard to get into Beelzebub, but I de like if you guys have only just recently saw this chapter and just saw it because of like me or you're slightly interested in the series, definitely I would recommend watch the anime first. I mean, both are equally good, the manga and all that, but I'd recommend the anime. A lot of people really enjoy that a lot more than they do the uh, than the manga. Then you can just go on from the manga and just read on from there, but. That's all for me, everybody. So thank you very much for watching. Tell me what you thought about this um, chapter down below. Um, but yeah, we will be doing like um, I'm definitely going to be doing next week's of this. Like I'm, I'm enjoying this. I mean, there isn't really much to do on Thursdays anyway. Uh, when um, I normally get back from either college or when I've got free time. But that's all for me, everybody. So thank you very much for watching. Remember, Shrela Panda, Sana, and I'll see you guys next time.